A witness says tech mogul Bob Lee and his accused killer spoke one on one just hours before he was stabbed to death in San Francisco. The suspect in the case, Nima Momeni, confronting Lee, asking if he had done anything, quote, inappropriate with his younger sister. We're learning a lot from court documents about this case. Joining us now with the very latest former FBI special agent and attorney, Stuart Kaplan. Stuart, thank you. Uh, I want to start with the nature of Bob Lee's relationship with Momeni's younger sister. Her name is Kazir Momemi. Um, do we know the extent of why these two were connected and, and hanging out that night? Well, it's, it's been reported that there was a relationship. I think what is going to play out as the information is released is that uh, somehow Bob Lee was interfering with her or being a bad influence on her uh, with respect to maybe some recreational drug use and maybe some other activities. Uh, it, 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 again, I don't think there's an issue of uh, whether or not there was consent. These two people were friendly, uh, and it was well known that the two of them did have a social relationship with one another. So I, I mentioned just a moment ago, there was a phone conversation between Bob Lee, who was killed and stabbed to death that night, and the suspect, Nima Momeni. Um, does that con confrontation mean that the murder was premeditated? How will prosecutors um, play that forward? Well, I think what you're seeing play out right now is a defense attorney who's trying to set up a self-defense type of scenario and also with respect to trying to suggest that Bob Lee may have uh, abused or mistreated uh, the defendant's sister and then in some way it was a justifiable homicide. Marnie, quite frankly, the problem with that storyline is that the police, and again, it will be, uh, it will play out that the instrumentality that was used to uh, stab Bob Lee was a kitchen knife. They will able they will be able to show um, that the kitchen knife falls in line consistently or consistent with other utensils in her uh, in the defendant's sister's apartment. And so we know that generally people do not walk around with a kitchen knife on their person. And so the premeditated aspect of this case was that when the two men left uh, the sister's apartment, uh, this defendant had already made uh, a decision at least to arm himself with what we now know is the instrumentality of the weapon used to kill Bob Lee. And that's going to be very pragmatic for this defendant. Stuart, do police have the murder weapon? Was that confiscated and found? They, they do. And as a matter of fact, uh, when they canvassed the area, uh, the kitchen knife was uh, found on the street uh, just about uh, the location of where the BMW, the white BMW, which belongs to the defendant, was last seen in the CCTV. Uh, what you're going to have forensically is not only you're going to have Bob Lee's blood on it, but uh, forensically the laboratory will probably come back with respect to DNA analysis with respect to the defendant's uh, uh, DNA on that handle, on that shaft of that knife. The other question I, I had wondered sort of in the beginning, because we have that video of Bob Lee kind of stumbling around before he is able to get in touch with emergency responders. Was he able to communicate and say who stabbed him? No, unfortunately, from what I understand is uh, he passed out. I think actually the CCT, uh, the uh, recording that last captures uh, Bob Lee actually collapsing on the sidewalk by the time the medical personnel arrived on scene and the police, uh, he had already uh, passed out and unfortunately was not able to identify who the person is. But rest assured, there is enough circumstantial and direct evidence here. And certainly with the recordings, the surveillance recordings, uh, it is easily going to place this defendant at the location coupled with uh, his DNA on the knife coupled with the victim's blood on the knife, and then, of course, the text message, and then, of course, corroborating that there was an incident with respect to an argument that apparently escalated to the to the point where this individual decided to basically lure, lure him into a secluded area by driving him. Obviously, there was an incident in the car or right outside the car that unfortunately resulted in Bob Lee being stabbed multiple times. Stuart, what else do we know about the suspect, Nima Momeni? Um, you had mentioned in some of our previous conversations that there's two sides to this guy. Um, had he had other previous run-ins with the law? 
Yeah, there's an indication that he had been arrested prior with respect to possession of a weapon. Uh, that happened to have been a type of, uh, you know, knife, uh, a, you know, a pocket knife. That charge was ultimately dismissed. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.